Nigeria is one of the top 10 most dangerous countries in the world for women. The shortage of laws protecting women is compounded by poor law enforcement and traditions that force women to keep quiet about gender violence. Tired of physical abuse, some Nigerian women are now taking self-defense classes. It was really eye-opening. I liked the fact that I could, I can protect myself. <laughs> yes, at least I can protect myself and if I wanted to attack, I can attack quickly. Yes, so it went well. In Nigeria, even in a large city like Lagos, women learning to fight for themselves face a lot of criticism. It's strange, very, very strange to hear that a woman wants to defend herself if she finds herself in a position where she has to. Nobody is going to, nobody is going to listen to that. They will just tell you that you're being, you're not being submissive as a woman. You know, they tell you that you just, you've become a feminist, and so because you, you've started listening to all these things that are happening, and then in Africa we don't do that. The organizers of the self-defense course for women say breaking deep-rooted traditions is hard. The taboo stems from the fact that societal pressures, environmental perception and also within women themselves as well, not having the self-belief that they can actually achieve and do this or what is required to become uh, proficient at self-defense. Only three months ago, Nigeria adopted its first National Sexual Offenders Register, setting up a database of those convicted for sexual violence since 2015. While it is a step toward clamping down on abuse, Critics say many assaults go unreported because women are forced to keep quiet. The self-defense course in Lagos, organized by rights group Women Impacting Nigeria and a local gym, is also teaching women to speak up. Everybody tells their story because here you're meeting women who have experienced the same things that you've experienced, but some people are silent about it. As more and more Nigerian women work outside their homes and spend more time on the streets, away from their male family members, incidents of assault against them have been increasing. Until the authorities step in to protect women, self-defense may be the only option for many. Zlarica Hoke, VOA News, Washington.